at a piano. It is a battle of teams. Of the top half of the team standings versus teams at the lower half of our team standings. Good to have you with us here. My name is Martin Javier. Alongside our coach, Vinci Paras, here in the broadcast with our court side reporters. Diana Iguan reporting for FPU and Mexico Dallas reporting for San Sebastian. Now, LPU, ito yung laro na makakapag-secure sa kanila ng Final Four spot. And if they get a win against San Sebastian today, they will officially secure and book the second seat dito sa ating Final Four. Kaya, they're starting out with a lot of sense of urgency. But, uh, Papa Bear. Yes, ito, nakita natin uh, that an early offense coming from uh, LPU First three-point shot from uh, Barba and then uh, Kino Valdez naman. So ngayon, ang question is uh, for San Sebastian. Yeah. If you're the coach of San Sebastian, are you going to try to win this game or you let the other players play? Yeah. Diba? In preparation. So for next season. So yun yung uh, abangan natin. Oh, dahil itong San Sebastian officially out of the Final Four race. This was our opening basket. Pulling the trigger right away and knocking that one down. Ato Marba from deep and then followed by a transition basket. Ganin dito kay Inok Valdez. The counter right here from San Sebastian's captain, Alex Disoyo, who is starting to play out his final few games here in the NCAA. Omani throwing that one away. Not even Valdez could make that catch. Nagulat yun ako po eh. Dumahan sa kanya yung bola. May nagtetext dun. Nagulat. Hindi ako ready to shoot. Oh boy. Same yes ka naman next time. Siya lumali. On the error on that pass. This is Ray Martis Covido. Pero yung lagi natin sinasabi na itong mga teams na yung out na at ito yung mga mahirap na laban. No pressure. Yeah. And then of course, they wanted to end this uh, season with a good game. Ito si Inok Valdez. Oh! oh! Pakasabi ko lang, on cue. Yeah. James Una denying Inok Valdez. And you rarely see that. Dahil usually unstoppable in transition itong si Inok Valdez. But this time, oh, naabangan siya doon ni James Una. Big Sean, ang tapigan, Romel Calahat taking it away. And also Romel Calahat, this is a guy who is looking to showcase his wares in his final few games in the NC. The Soyo misfires. James Luna collects the board. Raymar Escobido off the pirouette. That's his favorite move. Actually, Escobido, yung, yung naging game ni Escobido ngayon, medyo naging up and down uh -huh. itong uh, season na to. It wasn't what we expected, yeah. especially after having a solid season last year. Ang talagang nag-flourish at umangat yung laro ngayong season para sa San Sebastian, itong si Paeng Are. And also Kala Kalahat. And Romel Kalahat. Alright. Let's uh, hear our first report. Unahin muna natin ang Lyceum of the Philippines University. And yung unang uh, report sa atin ni Diana Igua. Diana, go ahead. One of the hottest teams right now in the league market goes Benji, the LPD Pirates. Let's regain their winning form after surrendering their 5 win streak. The professional side at last Sunday. Na makausap pa nga si head coach Wilbur Malaban at sa kanilang unang pagkatalo dito sa aking second round, he said that it happened for a reason. If anything, if anything it was good for the team dahil ito daw ang naging wake-up call para sa kapunang ito na marami pa silang kailangan tawaguhin dito pa lamang sa aming elimination round. Now, will the tempo be on the side of the Pirates today and will this be enough to strengthen their hold off the second spot? Malalaman natin yan sa pagbabalik ng NCAA Season 99. We're back to the coverage and to a season 99 on GTV. And the boy, yung pinanggalingan na magkabi ng panic natin. The LPU Pirates, 11 and 4 right now. One win. An impending win here will secure officially a final four seat for them. And again, as I mentioned earlier, San Sebastian already eliminated. So, isa lang ibig sabihin niya. Oh. Pag naka 12 wins ang LPU, pasok na. So, ibig sabihin, lahat 
Itong Vinyl, JRU, San Beda, EAC, ah. and Perpetual, lahat yan may mga chances pa. Meron pa. But LPU needs this game in particular not just to book the final four seat, pero mag-create pa ng separation eh, no? between them and Benil plus JRU and Sanbella. Yes, Beda. exactly. Para may counting buffer sila dyan. And of course, yun twice to beat advantage. That's right. First and second. Yun ang pinaglalabanan nila yan. Malaking bagay po yan, lalong-lalo na pagdating na natin sa Final Four. Alright, let's go to the other side and let's talk to the reporter of San Sebastian. Nandito ngayon si Lexi Gonzalez. Lexi. Nang bisitahin po sa dugout ang San Sebastian kanina na abutan po si Coach John Callas na naglalaro ng chess. Sabi niya, ginagawa niya raw talaga ito before each game para makalma ang kanyang isip. At dahil strategizing din si Coach John, plano niya raw ngayon na bigyan ng exposure ang kanyang mga bagong players para mas maging handa sa susunod na taon. Focus niya na raw ngayon ang development ng lahat dahil he's already looking forward for season 100. Kayo ba, sino ang favorite yung rookie from San Sebastian, Martin and Papa Bear? Maraming salamat, Lexi. Well, first person that comes into mind kasi mix to ng uh, young players and veterans pero kung legit rookie talaga, probably Mark De Leon, especially with how he you know, was able to transition to the college game. Alam natin si Mark, galing siya dun sa San Sebastian Staglitz na program just this year. Earlier this year sila naglaro from the Staglitz. Now he's elevated to the program of the Stacks. Ako si Dale Singson. Yun, dahil? Slang magsalita. Hindi, <laughs> hindi. <laughs> Galing stage kasi. Hindi. Uh, okay. yeah. Kasi, yung, yung daddy niya, uh, teammate ko, saka naging kaibigan ko, uh, si Dale Singson. Point card mo dati yan. Yes, point, point card. At parehong-pareho niya maglakad, parehong kumalaw. Uh, second coming, ano, as Montano bangs home a triple. Kailangan niya ng NPU kasi... Mas mabilis ang simula dito ng San Sebastian. Maybe you slow it down a little bit at this point of the first quarter. Ay, Alex Cubido. About to start today. One-legged oh. jumper. He follows up his own miss. Narinig yata ako. Ano bang up and down na uh, performance na sinasabi mo? Ang alam ko lang, puro up ako. Uh -huh. Again, iba, iba rin yung naging role. Ngayong season na ito ni Raymond Escobedo. At times, he comes off the bench. Pero mga time na, parang ganito. Nagsisimula po siya para si San Sebastian. James Una. Cross court pass. Alex DeSoyo. Pulling the trigger. It's the back iron that time. Rebound ending up with Barba. He throws it away. Here's Kalahat with a telegraph. Kalahat. Nakatakit. Tinanabas muna kay Philip Rico. TJ who has been a revelation this season for San Sebastian. Here's Alex DeSoyo. Pumping up agad, Philip Rico is fouled. That was a good pass coming from Di Soyo. Si Di Soyo actually, yung uh, performance niya dito, ganun din halos eh, no? Yeah. Medyo naging naging uh, up, and up and down also. Pero there are times naman na uh, may mga games na siya talaga yung bumubukat sa team nila. Yun yung hinahanap ni, I think, Coach John mula dito kay Alex De Soyo because we know he can score. We know he can score in punches, yung mga three-pointers niya mula sa elbow area. Alam niya, kaya niya gawin ni, or kaya gawin ni Alex yan. But the consistency, there are games na talagang walang pumapasok. May ibang games na sunod-sunod. Pero alam mo, naandun yung play. Para sa kanya pa rin eh. That's right. Dahil siya yung go-to guy dito, aside from uh, Scooby-Doo is one of the veterans of this team graduating captain nila Ino Valdez speaking of captains that is also graduating he misfires that time Raymark stop and pop long two is off the rebound ending up with Montano a little too quick on the trigger kaya nagsuri agad itong si Escobedo ito nakikita natin yung defense ng San Sebastian they're preventing LPU to make an early offense and Montano I takes guess, care of the open look. I guess that's uh, considered as an early offense. Mm. Yeah. Libre, libre. Walang kubuha. Unharmed was Montano right there. Ito si Kalahat. Kalahat. Di makabawi. Off to the right was his three-pointer. Again, if we look at their first meeting of the season, the final score was 83-72. to 72, But it was much closer. 
than uh, what the final score actually indicated because with 3 minutes and 43 seconds remaining it was a 2 point game Papa Bear before LPU ended the game on a 9 to nothing run yes. so kayang pumalak ng San Sebastian sa LPU kaya, kaya dahil alam, alam naman natin kung laro ng San Sebastian especially pag gumana itong uh, Scubido Bisoyo and Kalahan and also nakalimutan natin si Are Are pa is having a stellar sophomore season para sa baste cross court ito si Baeng ilalapit niya drop on oh. inside extra pass pa para dito kay Romel Kalahat sumobra yung extra pass pero good result naman for San Sebastian and Romel Kalahat ganyan pa parangdang sa ating laban Kalahat now actually that's his first basket of the game kung anaan niya close it up he gets the whistle on his way to that floater, this is gonna be on Raymond Escobedo. And this is Greg Kunanan. Good luck finding Gain Montano wide open for the three, but Paeng Are and the Stacks executing on the interior. Two nice passes inside, Papa Bear. Yes, maganda yung uh, recognition ng mga players looking for an open man and an open shot. Ito na, mag experiment na dito. Si Coach John Callios. Mamaya, mamaya, may bago siyang ipapasok na big man dito. Meantime, rebound ending up with DJ Penebrico. 13 to 11 in favor of the stacks right here. They go to Romel. He will back down against Oman Omandak. Sayang, yung ganong, ganong play, ano? Ah... Uh, Sumoda was on the other side. Nakasil na siya. Oh, pero Jesse Sumoda still he scored on that uh, play. Just staying with the play was Jesse Sumoda and again San Sebastian with a four point lead, 15 to 11. Kyle Montano from mid range. He's having a nice first quarter. Montano with six points to start, but the Stags still ahead, 13 to 15. early lead in the first half. Kaya lang ito sa San Sebastian cut na lead to two points in the third quarter. Kaya lang during the fourth quarter. Yeah. Ito, ten points lang yung last score nitong San Sebastian. And if you're going to look at the, some of the numbers, yung points of turnovers, yeah. itong LPU, 30 yung naabag against 12. And yung bench points ng LPU, 48 to 27. Pero kung iisipin mo pa mo, Bear, kung ganyan yung mga numero ng LPU sa isang laban, usually pag tinignan mo yung score, tambak na nila. Yes, kaso hindi. Kaso hindi. Nadikitan itong San Sebastian. Again, using their strengths as a team. Leonard Velasco. Nasa laban na natin niya. Number 24 for San Sebastian. O tubong tatanawan Quezon. 6'6 six, six center, 21 years of age. First timer in the NCAA. He has played two games so far in season 99. This is his third. And a turnover on the Pirates. So, San Sebastian. Ilan na ibang ang dami ng uh, turnovers itong uh, LPU. Ito pa ba ba? Turnover count natin. 7 for LPU, only 1 for San Sebastian. Usually it's the opposite if you're against LPU. Yes, pero ngayon na medyo nakikita natin na medyo relax itong uh, San Sebastian. Ah, uh, Velasco inside. Ito muna. Na so, yeah. so uh, it's a shot clock violation first. This is Velasco on your screens, Leonardo. Pero they're, Velasco. They're claiming yata na tumama sa ring. ring. Uh -huh. So we'll see. Oh, so no, the reset yung okay. clock. So fresh 14. Para dito sa San Sebastian. Just to give you guys an idea. Kaya paligtad yun ang nangyayari dito sa ating uh, first quarter. If you want the best in forcing turnovers against their opponents, they lead the league in turnover points at 18.2 turnover points a game. 
Ow, fucking Ari, finishes with the left hand. Ito na yung sinasabi natin, nakakatakot. Pag nag-connect, itong si Ari, Desoyo, at itong si Scubido. Ito yung depth ng backcourt na ito ng San Sebastian. They all have very crafty guards. Diba lahat yan? Ito si Paeng Ari was able to get to the basket on his own. Si Ray Martinez Covido, meron din kakayahan gawin niyan. Alex Desoyo, also very capable. Tapos meron ka pang post-up guy. Ay, just in Sumona. May kalahat ka pa. Kalahat pa. Actually, no? Pag tinigin mo nga, kompleto itong line-up dito ng San Sebastian. Kompihan sa rin eh. This is Velasco Surveys. Martin Leon, one of the rookies that we were talking about earlier. Number five in the game now for San Sebastian. Maingari. Sabi ko niya kanina ni Lexi, maraming gagamitin dito first timers or first year players. Coach John Gallos. Hindi mo maabot yan. So ito, legit shot clock violation na against the Stags. So hindi aware doon to si Are dahil nakita ka niya. Yung big guy in front of him So, he's trying to make a one-on-one play. Yeah. So, he will try to get to the basket. Ito yung lead before we end the first frame. Ito Marba, the back down, and he is able to draw the foul. Now, that's what I like about Ato Marba in this season. Hindi na siya, kasi there are times na talaga, lalong-lalo na kapag ganun yung simula niya, Papa Fer, nakashoot agad siya ng press. Vincent, magiging trigger happy siya. Yes, eto nakita naman natin na actually yung uh, bumabantay sa kanya, mayroong height advantage, uh -huh, yeah. pero pinilip pa rin niya. So that's what you like about him, you know, this season, mas may kumpiyahan siya na siyang kumatang eh. Oh, okay. So, here's an interesting stat here. Probably there are 13 of the 17 points so far in San Sebastian are coming off second chances or second chance points. So, kaya abante sila dito. They've gotten more opportunities on the offensive end despite their slight struggle from the field. Barba! Oh, ang ganda ng pasa. Prince Villegas! Able to take it straight to the house. Talk about second chance points nung first meeting nila. San Sebastian only 7 LPU 24 Lalo to si Velasco Layo Velasco with the last save Here in the first San Sebastian I think In an earlier report Dito sa season natin Ang napapansin ni Coach John Sa mga team Sinasabihan nila yung Tempo at ability ng kalaban So Dito LPU So talaga lumalabas din yung laro nila Meantime, we start the second quarter of this game. Kami salamat po. Only our first offering, by the way. Officially, nung Tuesday, Papa Bear, ang sinasabi ko, sanay ka dito kasi lagi kang nasa teneseri. Kasi sinabi ko ng Tuesday, huling dalawang linggo na. Kasi sa GMA na na elimination na. Parang nga teneseri, ang huling dalawang linggo na elimination na. Ngayon, officially, last one week. Yes, oo. Ito na yung very crucial. Oo. Crucial stage, lalo na yung sa mga players na ah, I mean, to sa team na nag-ahabol to make it to the Final Four. Again, this is a more important game for LPU to officially book a trip to the Final Four. Thanks, guys! Look that one strong. Ito yung San Sebastian, ano? They keep on attacking the basket. So, ito yung usual game din nila. Yeah. They're trying to, if not, try to get a foul. Ball is stopped from behind, so this is going to be the final goal on the floor for San Sebastian. Ari Sumoda, Gabat, and this guy, Leo Velasco, who was fouled by J.M. Bravo right there, alongside their rookie, Mark Delea. Okay. Update muna tayo muna sa ating sideline. LPU muna tayo. And let's talk to Diana Igua. Diana. Leading from the front, Ina Valdez, a team captain of the LPU Pirates, has high expectations and loves to maintain the momentum of his performance 
throughout the season's remainder. Martin and Coach Benji na pa rin po kanina. Si Enoch, regarding his last year playing for the team, sabi nga nito na gusto niyang mahigitan. Ang nagawa ng kanyang kuya na si CJ Perez, kaya naman ang goal niya since the start of the season ay ang makaabot sa finals at may OB ang panalo. Aspiring to be the lasting legacy, Enoch aims to inspire not just the team but the whole NCAA community with his standard of sportsmanship and dedication. Yan muna balita for the side, balik sa inyo, Martin and Coach Benji. Maraming salamat, Diana. Let's say, tall order because CJ Perez left the NCAA with an MVP and two finals appearances and a sweep in the elimination round as well. Nung nandun siya sa NPU. But Enoch was also there. Uh, backup siya nun ni CJ. He was, you know, playing limited minutes for LPU as he was trying to adjust to the collegiate game. Pero may chance, malaking chance ng LPU. Yes, as in Asabi Nani to si Eno gusto niya mahigitan. Pero yung ginawa ni CJ, medyo mahirap na mahigitan yun. Yung performance niya. Kaya lang, eto nga, yung sinabi ko, kung magcha-champion, malaki ang chance nitong LPU. Yun ang paraan para mahigitan yun. Eto si Eno on the move. Valdez, touchdown! Kanina, biggest lead ng San Sebastian, 23-17. Two points erased by LPU and it's back to six. Paengare with a quick counter. Mac Lord lets it fly. And again, quick offense for LPU. One and done as well. Paeng, nice speed. Kapat wala. Mac Lord in this game. Wala pa rin field goal, ano? Yung free throw lang yata. Yung kanya mga last score. Okay, Pauber, may test din pareho yung free throw. I mean, as it scored in this game, O out of, o out of two from the field, O out of two from the line. So a struggle. This is another sophomore na up and down ng season sa LPU naman. Yes. Yeah. So ngayon, punta naman natin ang San Sebastian. And let's talk to Lexi Gonzalez. Lexi. Tinanong ko si Alex Desoyo kanina kung sino sa tingin niya sa mga rookie ang magsistop up in the loss of his presence here next season. Isa sa mga pangalang na banggit niya, si Boom Singson. Ang maipwento ko naman ito kay Boom. Sabi niya, he really aspires to be a team leader just like Alex. Masalamat din daw siya kay Alex at sa iba pa niyang mga teammates dahil hindi raw siya nahirapang makapag-adjust from a life in the US to here in the Philippines. Sabi niya, hindi rin naman daw siya nagpapa-apekto na madala siyang makumpera sa kanyang ama na si Dale Singson. Isinasantabi na lang daw niya ito at patuloy lang na nakikinig sa gabay ng kanyang ama. We're excited to see more from Luke Singson, hindi ba Martin and Papa Bear? Sana salamat, Lexi, for sure. Especially, marami siyang, ano, marami siyang uh, matututunan dito sa guard lineup ng San Sebastian. But there's a lot of pressure. And, and you're, you're, you can relate to this, Papa Bear. Then si Kobe, si Andre, sinubukan nilang uh, sultan yung path mo sa basketball. But of course, if you're the kid, laki talaga ang pressure niya, lalo na pag legend yung dad mo. Actually, naging uh, tama yung sinabi mo. High school pa lang sila. Ha? Medyo mali kasi they're comparing kagad eh. Uh, yung game ko sa kanila. And of course, medyo malayo dahil nakita naman nila mo during my college day. Uh, yeah. Pero ang isang kong ina-expect, of course, we always see Mike Cortez watching yeah. Yeah. Uh, the game of uh, his son, Jacob. Yeah. Kay Jacob. Pero itong si Dale, yung dad niya si Dale din, ang hindi ko pa nakikita dito. Ah. So, in-invite po natin. Bisita Kaya, naman. Uh, Dale, uh, hinahanap ka namin kung asa ka man. <laughs> So, nananawagan kami na magpakita ka naman. Idol yan eh. Idol. Idol day. From college days in Espanya to, you know, pinapanood ko nun, bata pa ako sa Shell. Yes. Ang favorite ko. Ang magaling maganda sa kanya, magaling mag-dribble, cockroach over. Tapos yung kontra-tempo ng jump shot niya, na ikaw pa depensa pa lang, nakatalo na. Matik yun ah. Tsaka yung jump shot niya na yun ah. Matik, di ba? Ang kaleng. Kaka, kasi sure. Sure ball. Oo, yan. Sure ball. In time, it's a six point lead still for San Sebastian here. At ang kaiba, parami kasi tayong galing US na California based dito sa NCAA. Si Dale, I think, came from New York. Ah, siya lang. East Coast. 
Montaño continues his excellent play. He's got 10 points already, Whoa. the only guy in double figures, Amir Aguilar, with a three-point counter. Nakakahabo ng LPU, kaya lang may sagot lagi itong San Sebastian. Itong si Aguilar played six games prior to this, season 99 also. One of their vets, Kyle Montaño, the back down here. Ito. He was smothered already, got it back, and made a series of moves for that short hook. Pero ang bilis ng bawe, neto ni Aguilar. So Montano, scoring from the inside and the outside. But this big shot, and it's good for Sean O'Malley. Sasabihin ko sana kung saan si Basyan, that's a good thing. You let the big guys take the shot from the outside. Eh, pumasok eh. So, right wing three pa. Aguilar could not make it back to back. At ito ng LPU. Three point shooting natin. Much better for the Pirates. Only one three pointer made for San Sebastian. And that came from Aguilar. Montano baseline jumper. It's good. He stays hot here in the first half. He's got 12 points. To face LPU, more importantly, he makes it a one possession game. Okay, ito si Ariel Lamang. Pero yung assist and rebound, kaya kung ano nga, Lamang yung numero. The numbers for you guys, Kyle Montano is having some first half here. 12 points, 100% from the field, 5 out of 5 to begin this game. With 3 rebounds and 2 assists. Probably one of his best starts in season 99 for the Cebuano. And he gets the rebound there. That is his fourth of the game. Peña Fiel, pinasok na ni Coach Gilbert. Cross-court pass. Here's Greg. Pumanan, aatake. The spin setting up the rolling Gael Montano. On cue, yung sinabi natin playmaker. Itong si Kunanan with that uh, good pass on the inside. Nasa first half pa lang tayo, Papa Bear. And he already has five assists. Grabe. So, pwede pang mag-double-double to. Jesse. That one rims out. Tapla tayo dito. 28 all. And LPU will have a chance to overtake. Four and a half left. Dito sa ating first half. Ino Valdez. They feed Sean Umani at the post. Cross-court pass. Peña Fiel. Flips it up and in. And LPU is back in front. So good. Recognition from Enoch and uh, Umali. Let's yeah. switch switch mga bantay. Pero ito, bumawi si Jesse Sumoda. Ito yung sinasabi natin, nakakabawi ulit. Lumamang yung LPU pero hindi nila masustain. That was a 7 to nothing run unleashed by LPU before that basket of Jesse Sumoda. Umali underneath. Big Sean inside. Kunanan with 6 assists. Pakarim! Nasa etap na ito ni Greg. So, he's already on his average. Pero pa tayong mahigit tatlong minuto sa ating first half. So, nabasa na itong uh, LPU, yung uh, depensa dito ng uh, San Sebastian, which is they're all switching. Eh. Yeah. So, nagkakaroon ng mismatch lag, eh. especially with the big guy. To make adjustment ng LPU Pirates. Again, much lower start for them. Took them a while to really get this engine going. But uh, they're here and they're back in front. They're making quite a run in the second frame. Pero yeah. Okay. Pero itong LPU, wala nang post-up option. Hindi lang assist na binibigay. Ito si Kunanan. pa, by the way. Itong si Greg Kunanan. Is currently, as we take a look at this move, Alex Desoyo beating Jesse Sumoda inside. Rico Nanan is right behind JL De Los Santos for the most assists per game sa NCAA. Ahit lang si JL ng 0 0.01. Alus pareho na yan. Alus pareho na yan. Uh, lang ng point. So, again, one of the top assists, man. Ang kanyang pinalitan ito sa lineup ng LPU Enzo Navarro who was our leading assist guy 
in season 98. Because if you're averaging five assists per game, yeah. ano na yun, at least 10 points, uh -huh. yun na score ng mga teammates mo. That's right. And you see him, he's not really world dominant point guard. Yung talaga nagsistay sa kanya yung bola. He stays within the flow of their uh, system. Actually, yung mga kailangan mo, coming off the bench. Uh -huh. Yung mga, merong, of course, meron ka mga, mga mga starters na talaga gumagawa point guard. Pero kailangan mo rin ng ganyan, That's ng playmaker. Right. Ah, ito siya. Ito yung mga rebound. May rebound pa. Kaya ang mataas din yung uh, rebound niya. That is his third rebound today. Talking about Greg Kunana. 32 all. Kino Polis. Nakila. Nakakawan sila doon ng perfect one. Dahil sa tres puntos ni Mark Dan Romay kasawin. Big time. Back to the action here. All tied up at 32. It continues to be close. Kino Polis speaking of. Catch and shoot. Too strong on the three. He's, ano, he's also consistent on his outside shooting. You don't see him, no? Oh! Felebrico! Able to squeeze that one in and plus the foul. And this is a guy who has emerged for San Sebastian this year. He's been there for a while now. This is DJ Felebrico. But I think this season so far. ですね。これね、オーストラリアのプレーバレーションフォーダフォーダネクストシーズン。エムジー、オーストラリアのプレーバレーションフォーダネクストシーズン。エムジー、オーストラリアのプレーバレーションフォーダネクストシーズン。エ
Yeah. It's only his first attempt of the game. Oh, oh no! no. Dipsy do sign up. Boy, I'm a pick. Kalahat gets it. Here's Testoyo for three. Kabam! Finally! It's the biggest lead for San Sebastian. That is their third and a half. They take the eight point lead, 42. In the second half, and we know LPU, this is a team that is characterized by their comebacks <laughs> sa, yes. sa NCAA. So, kumbaga, ikasa mo na yan. And if you're San Sebastian, that's uh, something you have to anticipate. Yes, for San Sebastian, lagi nga lang sila sabi na every time matatalo sila is yung endgame. That's right. Diba? Uh -huh. So ngayon, titinan natin kung ito ba ay uh, no pressure na for them that they can finish that endgame in a nice way. Yeah. And for LPU, question ng Mama Bear, is it a question of effort from LPU noong first half natin? As we take a look at Alex Desoy, this is how we'll begin the third quarter. It was a technical foul yeah. from uh, coach LPU, uh, Coach Gilbert. Actually, uh, he was arguing that the, the officials didn't uh, review yeah. kung uh, counted yung last three-point shot dito si Desoy. Okay. So, Mama Bear, going back to my question, because San Sebastian had 14 offensive rebounds, is it a question of effort, especially in the first half? Pati na rin sa pag-box out, ano? Dito sa LPU. Sa LPU, yung offense, ang, yung defense ng San Sebastian, nagawa nila ng paraan. Uh -huh. Pero yung defense nila, ang nagiging problema dito. And especially boxing out, ito ang kanilang big guys. Doon pa lang, may offensive rebound agad. Kaya natagdag itong San Sebastian. Pero hindi sila nakapuntos. That's a foul on the floor. And this will be against Philip Rico. So we'll see. 42-34. It is San Sebastian. 5 and 10. Eliminated already in the final four race. But they want to crash the party. And this is Sean O'Malley inside. Takes on able to score that's a very patient and smart move coming from Umali and forcing that shot waiting for waiting for the defense to collapse 42-36 LPU needs a good start here in the third frame this first five minutes will be crucial for them Ramel Kalahan Naluna dun pass ahead to Barba scores! So for straight for LPU to cut the lead to four as well. Oh, that three pointer is deflected. So LPU, nagpapakita na. Sa depensa. Yung transition, uh, yung fast break points na yun, yeah. I think it's parang isa lang sa decent uh, transition offense ng LPU. No? Bihira pa natin na kita sa laban. Enoch Valdez! On the interior, 6 to nothing run! 6 to nothing kanina, 7 to nothing, 6 to nothing, nakasagot kaga dito ng San Sebastian. 6 points also for Enoch Valdez. Let's see if San Sebastian can do the same. Philip Rico, that's a nice move. Yun nga lang, kinapos yung tira niya. Valdez, he does not have the numbers. So he will wait for his troops. Montaño, leading scorer of the game. With 14, Enoch now. Ooh, tagtag defense ni Una. Pass is deflected. And it is tracked down by Kunanan. LPU will have it. And a chance to tie it up here. This is a quick run. A blitz for LPU. Dito sa ating third quarter. Oh, sige, abante pa rin ng San Sebastian dito. Let's see kung ano magiging uh, instructions ni Coach John Callas. Let's hear it from Lexi Gonzalez. Lexi. Simple lang naman ang mga bila ni Coach John Callas. Just maintain the same intensity ang bila niya sa kanyang mga players. Pero paalala niya rin sa kanya, lagi maging handa dahil gusto niya raw na makapag-contribute ang lahat. Things are looking good so far for the San Sebastian Golden Stacks. But they are still fighting against the LPU Pirates, Martin and Papa Bear. At magbabalik ang NCAA Season 19. Angelo Atolano makes it! 11-0 run for LPU! 
kami Oh yeah, ito na po yung dito in the first, not even five minutes, first three minutes pa lang natin, dito sa ating third quarter. Kanina sinabi ko na itong LBO na basa yung defense nitong Sasipasyan at yung question na po dito yung kanilang defense. Actually, it's a combination of their good defense now at yung bad. Oh! Ino Valdez taking off! So ilan na yan? Ilang na na tayo? This is now a 13-0 run. I'm sorry, Bob Bear. Bear, may kamuha rin ako eh. Nawala rin ako sa nasasabihin ko eh. Nagulat ako. Sean with the skip. Pero ba yung last game? Nakalimutan tumalon ni Sean. Tingin siya ng konti eh. Ano yun yung ah? Ano yun yung ano eh? Yung mindset niya na fast break niya eh. Oh yeah, let's check out the jam again. On the move, Yeah. 47-42. 13-0. coming up. the start today. Eight points, four assists, but struggling a little bit from the field. Only two out of three. Yung nagi combination ng good good defense. Ito ng LBU. Nasabay naman ng bad offense. Parang big lang buwa ba? No may lai ito sa kasabatan. And we saw the disparity on the field goal shooting. Six out of eight for LBU. Zero out of seven for San Sebastian. So, yun na, natutuluan na. Yung run na itong NPU San Sebastian scoring at the free throw line. And the delivery by Alex DeSoyo. The Pirates just exerting force. Dito sa panimula ng ating third quarter. And this is quite a statement that they're actually making, Baba Bear. Kaya-kaya namin! Pag-take over siya sa karo. Ganun-ganun na. We, 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 Kung sabi natin sila yan, ikaw at yan. Huwag tayo magpa-apekto kapag lumala namang sila Martin and Coach Bench. Ito ang paulit-ulit na pala ni Coach Gilbert Malabanan sa kanyang mga players to set aside ang kanilang mga sarili and to play as a team going into the second half of the game. Tagdag pa dito, Coach Gilbert reminds the team to pick up the defensive lead to the military movers and start putting pressure on the opposing team. While the Golden Stags have led multiple times in the previous quarters, the Pirates are pleased to fold out the pressure. Ang sigawa ng mga pirata, together is better. Kaya mo na ang balita on this side, balik sa inyo, Martin and Bush Bitch. Thank you, Diana. Everything you said is being followed by this LBU Pirates team on the board. A stellar start to the third quarter. Now they're ahead, 47 to 46. Okay. Itong LPU, 5 assist, 0 for San Sebastian. Leading the assist department is of course Grant Kuranan, already with 7 assists in the game. Ito pinapakita na sa atin. Itong LPU, Harris, basing it off the instructions earlier. Ang sinabi sa atin ni Diana. Ano yan, paint pintura? Point in the paint. Certain pressure on the sun to the sky. Yes. Ay, nakasulat na paint. Saan ito may wet paint ba? Point in the paint pala. Point in the paint tayo. 10 LPU. Siguro ito sa sipas. Sa kakagulat. 
San Sebastian Golden Stacks Cheering Squad and naman mula sa Pirates Pep Squad and mula sa LPU Pep Squad Nakaredy sila lahat Naasahan na nila yan kahit hindi mo warning yan Kanina smile cam, ngayon cutie cam pero nakasmile pa rin sila So sa lahat ng manonood wear your makeup next time and wear your teeth na? Yeah. Baka huwag niyong kakalimutan para maganda smile. Yeah, tsaka mag-smile kayo. Speaking of smile, nakasmile kayo, nanonood isa sa ating one of our best athletes, Onyok Velasco. Uy! A legend. A legend, Onyok Velasco. Boxing legend, Onyok Velasco. Thank you for watching. Inong Valdez with a scoop to the hoop. Making it a two-point game. Ito ang San Sebastian. They have found life in their offense in this stretch. Telebrigo na ito pa. Ball going back to LPU's side. Kanina kakapasok lang, Baba Bear. Ito ang si Boom Singson. Dale Andre Singson. Now in the game for Baste. Actually, pag tinitingin ako siya, parang ganun ganyan. Si Dale, pati buho. Kalawan ano? Oo nga ano? Inok Valdez who scored the last basket Montaño for 3 That's his first miss of the game Finally missing After making his first 8 He had a jump ball Possession goes To San Sebastian So Kyle Montaño No longer perfect from the field But that was A heck of a start he had to this game 8 out of 8 Apat na two pointers, apat na tres. Nacho mo. Ozing so taken away by McLeod. Padanya with the steal and the score. Cookies for Mac. Experience. Ang ilamit nito si McLeod. 
against uh, Sing Son. Nilantay niyang tumalikod eh. Picking his pocket that time. Ito si Pangare. Able to draw the foul. So, Villegas is called for the foul. LPU. They're already in the penalty with a minute and 58 left. San Sebastian with still many fouls to give. Two team fouls pa lang tong paste. Kaya, Kaya to the line. Kaya wala rin sa penalty pa itong San Sebastian. Dahil start of the third quarter, ang daming na score nitong LPU. Oh, yeah. Medyo, medyo lumuwag yung depensa nila. That's right. Pero at this time naman, yung opensa nila, yung bumalik. Ito si Villegas, Montaño, to Guadagna. They go to Valdez, good recovery for San Sebastian, pero naiwan si Oman Omandak. Good uh, interior passing, ito nga LPU ngayon. Paeng! Paeng are talaga, nakita mo yung zigzag niya doon. Oo. Oh, oh. Good intention sa ano eh. He's really fast. Ito si Paeng Are and he has an underrated leaping ability. Yeah, he's able to snatch some rebounds and interfere passing lanes. Jay yeah, Bravo. Papasok sa ating laban replacing Kyle Montaño. Montaño will get a breather. He has 20 points to lead everybody today. 61 all. 20 points ni Gael Montaño, halos one-third yan ng puntos ng LPU at ng San Sebastian din. Grabe, ganda ng performance yeah. ngayon. So, tignan natin kung ano yung magiging defense ng LPU. Dahil ay dyan ulit si Sumoda, we will expect a post-up play. Pero hindi, nasa labas ulit si Sumoda. Kay Enrico, ooh, bags it home! Kaya naman pala. Good shot coming from DJ Filipico. Villegas fouled by Jesse Somoda. Only the third team foul para dito sa San Sebastian. One more foul to give. Ref Gabat. The more defensive minded Gabat brother now in the game replacing Philip Rico. Villegas Omadak all day. Kabam! That's his calling card, Papa Bear. Designated shooter. Ito si Omanda. Kaya nga, wala nga na close out for San Sebastian. Matawagan ang stepping. Ito si Boom Sing Sun. 64-63. Sayang yan, open look eh. Mahirap sa side na yan talaga eh. Mahirap kang tulahin nila. Pero, yun yung pinaka-mixing 3-point. Yeah. Amanda. Oh. Off to the left. Bad miss that time. But ball is tracked down by Bravo. Second chance for LPU. Shot clock though. Is down to 4. Villegas. Yes. Velasco secures. And here's Peng. Are now. About an 8 second difference between the shot and the game clock. Here's Peng Are. It is down to eight. Ari still has the ball. Gabat will attack. Sumoda. Free to shoot. Jesse with a floater. Voila. Rebound. Another offensive board for San Sebastian. They couldn't convert. Ari. Uy! Pagasa para kay Jesse na matalikod. Tumalikod lang. Going for the rebound. Good intention for Paeng Ari. So after the first three quarters, it is LPU. Ramapua. So fourth quarter. Ngayon lang quarter na ito. Third quarter. Nanalo itong LPU. Yeah. That's right. Again, starting the third quarter on a 13 to nothing run to get the lead back at the LPU Pirates. Let's see what will happen here in the fourth. But so far, lahat nung nagiging problema nila, their lack of effort, their rebounding was addressed in that third quarter. Habang itong San Sebastian, Ito naman, hindi sila nagpahuli. They were able to counter just enough to stay within striking distance. Yes, medyo lumayla yung offense nila. 
early uh, minutes of the third quarter. Then they bounce back. And speaking of bouncing back, Woo! what a What a slice. And the reverse coming from McLeod. Seven points across his name. Came off the bench today. So Oda, too strong. Oh, Paeng with an offensive board and he puts it back in. Paeng Are giving San Sebastian a couple of second chance points. For LP, kahit na point guard dyan, he need to locate. Yeah. So he need to box him out. After scoring 17 second chance points, in the first two second chance points on San Sebastian, here to the second half. 19 offensive rebounds for the Stags as well. Okay. Rex Villegas. Diego to McLeod who scored earlier of a deep reverse. Shot clock. He's one in the down. McLeod with a no go. Ball is tapped around. And it ends up with. Well, I'm going to take it out of the street. Take it out of the street. The cup of mine. There was a ball first. Makes it. Pastel ahead by two. Remember, if you guys are still in, if LP wins today, you officially book a final four seat. But more than that, of course, they gotta take care of business here to secure twice to be the advantage. At least. Oh, it's a foul on a three. No. Oh, it was a uh, Montano. So Gabba this time is called for the foul. Let's see what happened. Let's see what happened. Okay. It was on the initial contest. Pinabutan. Si Montaño right on the forearm. Right forearm the Ralph Gabba. Mama, shout to ma. Malaki yung threat ni Tom Montaño this game. So that's why you need to Close out properly. This is his first trip to the field, and he's only missed one shot today from the field. From the field, you didn't see that big one from the line. That's his business. Okay, let's go to the other side. The hands are going to bounce back, bounce back harder, more than those bands. He got all the numbers aboard. Go into the out of the LBU Pirates. As both teams are currently playing a catch up game right now, Coach will bring the rest that the both teams have for putting emphasis on aggressiveness and effort from the end of the Pirates. Bilang pili pala na Coach will bring the team to take a bit of time from his words, but yung pag the end of the video, yung ano nang dapat na go in. Ang 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 Thank, Thank you, you so much, much Diana. Again, LPU has shown it. Here in uh, the season 99, Nagiba, at saka ang kapansin natin, basing it off Diana's report, we saw the effort, the energy already from LPU. Nagiba talaga yung sense of urgency nila pagsimula ng third quarter natin. Of course, we saw it in the first half. They gave up a second chance to win the game. By the way, 22 points for this guy. Contesting that he was, was found, but he had no go on the day up. Oh, my God, he quit with the best day on the first. He knocks straight into the house. Oh, he is back in front. Again, okay, another transition of offense for LPU. Let's go to the second side. And 
Successful challenge. Dito kay uh, Coach Malabano. Okay, interestingly, 
So, nawalan siya ng timeout, tama? Um, I don't think they challenged it. Hindi ba? Kasi hindi dineclare yung unsuccessful ah, challenge. Ah, o oh, kasi na less than 2 minutes. Less than 2 minutes. Oh, okay, so, okay. Yung review lang automatically ng ating officials. Pero LPU, punti ka maagaw. So, inalabas kay Desoyo San Sebastian. Dodging a bullet there. They're down by 4. Ang minute and a half remaining, Desoyo, Sumoda, no flow so far. Eto, nakawala si Paeng. Nice pass inside! And this will mean free throws for Penebrigo. Good recognition from Paeng Hare. So, DJ Penebrigo, good positioning inside. Sean O'Malley called for the whistle. Penebrigo, 4 out of 5 today. Muna sa linya. Too yeah. strong on the first. Yun yung uh, masakit. Yeah. Mamaya. Free throw shooting, you know? In the season, he is 50%. Sakto 13 out of 26. San Sebastian has missed 8 free throws as a team. Today, 17 out of 25. So, one more. This is to make it a one possession game. They're still in the game. Yeah. Oh, one out of two for Philip Rico. Taking care of the second, he has nine points and eight rebounds. Ito na yung nakikita natin, top five ng uh, both teams. Top players ng San Sebastian at nitong LPU. A close out na. Wala si dalawang coaches natin. Guantanya, covered by Allen. They go outside, Montaño for three. Too strong. Paengare secures the rebound. Ball is almost taken away. They're going to review this again. Yeah. Because Are got it. Passed it to Desoyo. Natapik ni Inok Valdez. Unclear who touched it last. 53 and 3 tenths of a second if they call it last touch on Valdez. Just because he was the one who swiped it. One possession game. But it could go both ways. Ito na. Oh, San Sebastian ball. So last touch on Enoch Valdez. Under a minute remaining. San Sebastian gifted with another opportunity to inch closer. So let's see. Kahit pa paano eh, nakapag-huddle itong team. So, titignan natin kung anong play. And for LPU, anong defense. Ball in the hands of Maeng Are. Are. Kalahan for the tie. Too strong. And ball will sail out. San Sebastian unable to get some points in. So, LPU. They now have a chance to melt some pressure seconds away. But they need to make this basket. That's right. Can they get the dagger? Kunanan. Kunanan. But this for three. No. Sumona secures. Oh. Are. Dangerous pass. This Soya for three. No. Are. Another chance. What up, Arain? But it's a Sebastian. Ball is stays with Baste with two and a half seconds remaining. So, pwede pa mag overtime. Di ba? May chance pa. Di ba ako nakaka-cover ng game and nag overtime? Ito na ba? Oh, parang may foul doon. May foul. Pero hindi tinawag. Hindi yun yung tinawag eh. Ang tinawag, nabitawa ni Kunanan. Yeah. So, malinaw doon, ang natapik ni Are, yung braso na ito ni Kunanan. So, ano, pwede bang i-reverse yun? Natawagin foul? Kasi na-review eh. Pero kasi lumagpas na yung play, Papa Bear eh. Yun na nga. So, I eh. think they can only uh, call a foul on a retroactive play. Pwedeng ilipat sa iba. Kung 
unsportsmanlike, parang okay. ganun, or kung may violence involved. But if if the play passed, kung lumipas na yung play, tas not Wala call, na. I don't think they can call again. Sige. So, basti pa rin. It's San Sebastian uh, basketball. Okay. Uh, Numerous chances for San Sebastian in that particular sequence. They'll get another chance when we return last two and a half seconds of the game. Games. Oh, bigat din yung kalaban ng San Diego. Pero pang LPU, JRU yan, tsaka Litran. Mabibigat yun. Here we go! Okay, Kapit! Kapit! Two and a half seconds left. The trigger man is TJ Filibrico. Three-point game. Are! Kalahat for the tie! No! And LPU escapes! With this win! They officially book a Final Four ticket in Season 99! Sa mga loob ko, tawag din dito. Ah, ganun ba? Pero marami pa yan. Marami pa. And the Pirates, a second consecutive Final Four appearance in the NCAA. Season 98, now season... Oh, meron pa. Pwede pa. Yeah. Yung number one, number two natin, uh, not yet locked.